Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Do another beer I got from Beerdrop.com. This is from Lord Hobo Brewing. 617 Lager, 5.5 ABV. I not say anything about it on the can other than it was canned in March, a little less than three months old. Uh, so let's get into the Spiegel glass. And it pours. Wow, you get a lot of foam on this one. And maybe if I speed up the film here, you can see it actually is like the same color yellow as that can, like a banana skin yellow. Little bit of a haze to it, but you know, nice big poofy. Is that somebody can correct me? Is this poofy character? I don't know. By the way, so I looked it up on their website and they made a point of saying that it's made with a single hop and a single malt. So it says for malts Pilsner, but the hops is blank. Floral, floral earthy, something like that. I. I don't think I would call it spicy, and it's certainly not citrusy or piney. Nothing American like that. Yeah, just... To me, it smells like a German Pilsner. Um, clean fermentation on there, no diacetyl. Yeah, um... Maybe, like, kind of like a German Pilsner with the hop style down a little, but it's not... It, it's lacking that kind of diacetyl character of a uh, Czech Pils. But, um... Yeah, let's see what the spirit is all about. Cheers. Yeah, maybe a tiny little bit bready and a tiny little bit of caramel. I mean, all the sweetness is just coming from that Pilsner malt here. I might call it... Mm, I, I usually use crackery for, like, weedy kind of beers, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, just a nice, you know, fairly simple um, Pilsner-esque palette. This is another example of why, in the last BJCP specs, there should have been... I've been campaigning this for like 10 years. We need an American craft lager style, something that's not, you know, German or Czech pills, but isn't, you know, an adjunct and it isn't a pre-prohibition lager or anything like that. And this is a good example of like just a straight up craft lager. Why can't we have that as a guideline? Yeah, so as far as the, those, whatever hop that is in there. Yeah, I think that is, it's gotta be something continental. And it's not super peppery. It is not super spicy. It's just kind of a more mellow, kind of earthy floral thing. Like maybe like a tiny little bit of like, there's like a tiny little bit of like a spicy, a little bit of bitterness. I do not know that the IBUs on this one. Does it say on here? No. Um, but if it's 5.5, I mean, this is just an American lager. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably pretty low, like 20 or less. It's not... It's not an especially sweet beer, so you don't need like a ton of hops to balance that out. But yeah, this is really hitting the spot. I would call it pretty refreshing. Aftertaste is like a little... Aftertaste, it, it finishes very malty, I will say. Yeah, 5.5 ABV. No alcohol presence. Uh, just pretty clean fermentation. I'm not getting any fruity character on here at all. So, um, yeah, I like it. By the way, I got this on beerdrop.com. Link in the description below. Use my code. You can get $10 off your first purchase. Let them know that I sent you. And special shout out to the gentleman who mentioned that he used my code the other day. Sorry, I forgot your name. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get my personal thumbs up. All right, so for the rating for the 617 Lager, I like it. This is a solid American craft lager. It is, you know, 5.5. It's a little strong to like session. Um, but this would be something I would want to drink like at the ballpark or at picnic beach, something like that. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go solid four out of five for the 617 lager from Lord Hobo. Um, yeah, I like it. It's pretty solid. I like it. We got another one in the fridge. Maybe we'll have it later. All right, so I am rambling. If you watch all the way in, you know you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for Tuesday Night Beer School. Cheers. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Review Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better